Hey y'all and welcome to Country Roots Farm. Today we are getting a driveway finally through the woods. I'm so excited and it will be about 66 tons of crush and run delivered. So stay tuned. I'm very excited. <laughs> The truck is backing in now to get started. It is unbelievable to see this big dump truck even come back here when it was so hard to even walk in this area because the woods was so thick. But after having it forestry mulched and then dozed for the house site in the driveway, he's able to get back here without a problem. I'm just so excited to actually see gravel get laid down and be able to drive back here. Are you excited? I'm very excited. <laughs> if you are going to get gravel delivered to your land, make sure that the company that you go with for delivery will also spread the gravel or crush and run because this would have taken us so long just to spread it out ourselves and their trucks are able to handle it without a problem. They are leaving us two piles in the back of the driveway where the loop will be finished off. The dozer was just here three days ago and so it's pretty soft back there. So they're gonna leave us two piles for us to spread ourselves. Otherwise they would get stuck and they're gonna finish out the rest of it for us. And so in the center down there, right in here, is where the orchard is. So those are apple, pear, peach, plum, and cherry trees. And obviously we'll be expanding that even more, but the plan was to have a driveway that drove around the orchard, which will be the front yard because this area is where the house is going. Pretty exciting. There is one of the piles and there's the second pile that we're gonna use to finish off the loop of the driveway. This was just dozed, so it's really soft back here and they would have definitely gotten stuck. They did spin a little bit at the front of the driveway and then they were able to get through but they said there was just no way for them to make this turn without getting their truck stuck back here. So we're gonna wait for it to dry out and then we will spread this gravel ourselves with our tractor through this area. Here's the other pile. But look how amazing this is. There is an actual driveway. We can actually drive back here. I can't believe it. The center of it is about three inches thick and obviously we will eventually need more because part of this will sink into the ground and get picked up by truck tires, whatever, but I'm walking on my driveway right now and that's an incredible feeling. Okay. 
So I am standing where the start of the driveway will be put in and if you would have asked me a year and a half ago when we bought this land where do we want the driveway this is not where I'd be standing. So I'm glad that we took our time and really set out where everything was going to be and what was going to work best for us because when we bought this land and it was fully wooded we were like well we don't want to be too close to the road right because it's such a busy road there's one person that lives past us. And we thought that we would turn into the power line and drive down the power line and then cut into the woods. But it was so wooded we couldn't really tell what the land looked like. So after having it cleared and after really having it forestry mulched, we were like, wow, where we were talking about putting a house is never where we put a house once we, once we could see the land. And so I'm pretty excited to be standing where we want the driveway. This would be the entrance, which is really not the entrance because whoop, that's the entrance but like where it continues on into what was the woods is not anywhere close. I mean, we're probably at least 100 feet away. From where we originally thought the driveway would start. But now the third and final truck has arrived for the day and we are gonna use this to finish off the front of the loop of the driveway and whatever is left will be drugged towards the actual entrance which is under the power line and around the corner a little bit still. So obviously we will need more crush and run and there's the little area that we need to finish off ourselves. but for three loads we were able to do the loop which is amazing because I thought we might get half of it so three loads we were able to do the whole loop around the driveway and that was a little over $1,500 delivered and spread pretty excited can't believe we have a driveway and then we'll actually get to drive down to the orchard because we've been carrying things to this orchard this whole time and it is exhausting <laughs> and I'm so excited to be able to actually just take water to the trees now too.